Ladies and gentlemen, signori e signori, today at the Pasta Evangelist Show, our superstar chef, Roberta! Maria, what are you doing, Maria? Too much. A bit too much. Let's do it again, yeah? I'm Roberta Past Evangelist and today we are meeting the team and I got a special friend Maria! Ciao, Ciao. my love! Ciao, How, are you? How are you? <laughs> Maria, today we're gonna make something very special. Yes. Before we start, do you want to tell us your role at Past Evangelist? Yes, I'm the social media manager at Past Evangelist, so I'm in contact with all our community. I always speak with you guys and uh, uh, also annoy Roberta sometimes because I don't know the answers. So I'm like, Roberta, what's in this ingredient, <laughs> uh, in this pasta, you know, all these things. So, yes. yeah. That's absolutely true, but I'm always happy to help my team. Yeah. To help my team. So, Maria, you coming from the beautiful region of Sardegna, Sardinia, mm. and we're making a very special pasta. We're making colurgiones today. It's uh, a shape uh, from uh, from my region. Uh, it's a very famous one, very traditional, has a, has a long history. And uh, Roberta is also very experienced in doing the shape, which can be a bit uh, uh, tricky to pick up. So the best person today to assist. Thank you, Maria. Let's I'm see. assisting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. le, le, let's see, guys. So let's get through the ingredient. We have the ingredient for the pasta and for the filling, and then you are going to leave it to you the sauce okay. so i start with the filling which we have first of all already the white uh, pasta dough made then we have potato they have just been put boiled and uh, we have uh, how you say mash it Ma like, yeah like we just smashed it a little you know exactly. so they are easy to work with then we got some garlic and then fresh herbs, which we're going to include the mint into the filling. And then the basil you will use for, use for the sauce, correct? Exactly. Fantastic. And then the water will help us to close the um, colugiones. Just in case the dough gets too dry, we're going to see in a second. For the tomato sauce, we have the tomato sauce here, uh, the passata, and uh, we have a bit of salt, of course a bit of olive oil, always present in, uh, in any Mediterranean recipe you could say. And we have also a bit of like... Um, Correct. I have an orange, I bought an orange from home today. I got an orange and this will be used actually in the filling. Exactly, yes. A little zest. Yes. Yeah. And Fantastic. of course uh, a bit of uh, um, pecorino sardo, it's uh, a Sardinian, uh, Sardinian cheese. Uh, which we'll use uh, in the filling and in, uh, in the sauce as well, a little. On top? Yeah, on top. To yeah. Fantastic, we are ready, let's start. We prepared the vegan dough using only semola rimacinata di grano duro, which is a durum flour and water. Please have a look at our video if you want to learn how to make it. And now, Maria, we can move to the filling. Yes. So, we have, as I say, we have already uh, the boiled potato. I normally use red potato, the one with the red skin, just because they contain less water, so it's going to be more firm, the filling. And now we can start to simply add the rest of the ingredient. So we have prepared, you can go for it, yeah, my love. Bravissima. So I'll add some garlic in garlic. it, that yeah. we crushed mm -hmm. earlier, so it just like mixes better. Uh, and then uh, uh, a secret to this, or something that distinguishes this uh, this filling from others, is that um, we mix uh, the the potatoes with a bit of uh, mint. Nice. Um, you realize this type of um, pasta is quite filling; is very um, nutritious. Um, but with with a bit of mint, it can become also like quite fresh in mm -hmm. taste. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's a nice thing like to to have any time uh, in the year and that's great because then you're gonna also add a little bit of acidity with uh, with the orange zest it's uh, anything particular why you guys use the lemon it's some recipe i saw also lemon instead of orange there is a particular reason is just to add a little bit of freshness to the dish. Maybe. Yeah, you're correct. Like this, this recipe is quite uh, ancient. Like ancient is the history of uh, of Sardinia as a region. Um, the the origin 
a specific origin of this recipe is in Ogliastra, which is an area um, near Oristano, like so very central to, to the island. Um, and in Ogliastra, the traditional recipe doesn't have uh, orange zest or um, lemon zest, uh, but this is um, a variation that we do in uh, Gallura, so okay. northeast of uh, uh, of the uh, of the island, um, because we're on a coast type of uh, more environment, okay, yeah, so, yeah. So, so we like to keep it a bit fresh. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm just carry on. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stretch uh, the, the dough. Of course, you can use a simple rolling pin. Today, we help ourselves with, uh, with a pasta machine. Uh, we don't want the dough to be too thin, otherwise it's difficult to close it to fold each uh, um, each Jones. So you carry on adding the, uh, le the orange zest. As I say, also lemon can work in case you don't have orange. Exactly, pasta. lemon as well. It just smells so nice. It's smelling, already, yes. You know, like, yes, yeah, absolutely. Get some vitamin C. Do we get a vitamin C? Absolutely. And it's uh, a specific dish that you serve, I don't know, for Christmas time or any particular celebration or it's something that you will do no matter what's the time of the year. Like, you know, nowadays, uh, um, it's, it's served a bit like throughout the year. Um, in origin, you know, since it has such, such an ancient history, it was used to um, be prepared and served at the uh, like end of August. When, oh, like, okay. It's the season, like the, hen the end of harvest season. Uh, consider Sardinia is like many regions in Italy, like, their economy was based a lot on agriculture on, mm -hmm. up until a certain uh, point, certain point in time, like you know, after the war uh, and around the 60s when tourism and industrialization came in. So after the um, the harvest season, uh, families used to prepare this uh, um, to to celebrate. Uh, so it kept this uh, association with abundance. Okay. So if you had a good harvest. You you'll make kulurjones yeah. to yeah. enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. And now is like you know it also represents a little um, um, a lot of like esteem and respect and friendship. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendship. <laughs> uh, and uh, you, when you prepare it for friends, you know, when when they come home. And I'm sure your friends they're going to be super happy to have this as a dish, you know. Uh, and normally served only with the tomato sauce, yeah. There is any other particular sauce that you wanted to you can serve the curry jones you know sometimes the filled pasta many times is served just with you know butter sauce or to keep it very could you do as well with the curry jones so you will keep the tradition with the tomato sauce instead of to be honest i prefer the traditional recipe with the tomato sauce because okay. it just gives it uh, that, that that extra flavor to like have a bit of variety but of course as you said you know this can be served with a simple uh, lemon uh, with with a bit of basil or with a bit of a uh, salvia, mm -hmm. a bit of sage. Um, so the, there are there are variations, but I prefer with the tomato sauce. Now we go with. So we have added potatoes, the mint. Uh, have you added a little bit of salt and pecorino already? Not yet. Not okay. yet. Let me let me add a bit of salt. This is the salt. Salt to taste, of course. I normally always taste the filling just to make sure that you know you got enough salt. Uh, you know, sometimes I can say a teaspoon, but it all depends on how much really you like. But because we got today, we got the pecorino also added. So be careful, it can be pretty salty. So you're moving already on the tomato sauce, just, uh, that's one of the easiest things to do, Maria, yeah? Yeah, just to keep it going, I think, yeah. uh, so we can get everything ready, like to taste. Um, and yeah, it's it's super easy to make the tomato sauce. Um, this is like a very simple one, so just a bit of uh, mm -hmm. uh, olive oil and uh, garlic. So I know, Roberta, you have a technique for garlic. Yeah, especially when I'm stressed. Yes. Yeah. So I think, <laughs> when I stress, I got a good technique. I want to compare our two techniques. Like Please. in fact, what I do here is I just use the knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The back of the knife. So back the, of the knife. Yeah. And bravissima. I crush it like this. Bravissima, Maria. Bravissima. And basically, the skin comes off quite easily. Yeah. And I and I can use it. So you like me? Then I'm gonna remove the garlic. But I just want it to brown a little bit with the olive oil. Bravissima. Infuse the oil and then remove it. And this is also very personal because many people love 
to taste the garlic so you can chop it and leave it in the sauce or like we do normally Italians they like to do this style so they remove it then the garlic in order to infuse the the olive oil but I want to see your technique <laughs> That's ah. when, when you want to just make it easy. It's exactly the same. It, it works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's yeah. Um, very nice and stress, stress relief. <laughs> what I'm going to do with the filling, so Maria, she, she added all the ingredients. What I do, guys, uh, because first of all, my hands are clean. And second, because I like to fill in the ingredients so you can help yourself with your hands and just mixing all together. I know, nice. That's, um, yeah, nice. that's uh, what I do always. Uh, you know, even when you make uh, meatballs. Yeah. Many people don't like to put the hand on, but actually your hand will really be more helpful than any other tools for exactly. a spooner because they really mix all the ingredients together. Can you see guys, the filling, it's very dry. Uh, but don't worry because we had enough cheese which will melt once we uh, cook. And now, Maria, once the filling is done, the tomato sauce is about to um, get into the pan. Exactly. We can then start to, we're gonna clean a little bit around and we're gonna start to shape these amazing cool urgiones. It's cool urgiones, Maria, yeah? Cool urgiones, yes. Fantastico. Very traditional name as well. Uh, it, it just like links to Sardinia. Um, one, one curiosity that uh, I can share is that uh, in Sardinia, uh, we don't have, um, uh, unlike other regions in Italy, we don't have just a different accent or a different dialect. We have a proper language, language like full on language, Sardo. Which Sardinia I language. cannot understand. And I'm <laughs> from Puglia, I'm Italian, but. Yeah, I will struggle a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but, but that's that's nice in Italy because when we yeah. are from different regions, sometimes we can use the dialect. Yeah, just to say, you know, that's the stuff, and the other people won't understand yeah. us. Maria, you were saying, you know, the, the name is pretty. Let's say it's pretty difficult. So, can, can, can you? It's a kulurjo, kulurjo, nes, it, yeah, yeah. It's a bit, um, <laughs> it's it's a bit complicated, of course. Like it's a different language mm -hmm. as well, you know. Kulurjones. Uh, is a specific uh, meaning of, or is it just a way to use the dialect as well? You know, like yeah, yeah. No, it has a specific meaning. In theory, like uh, the, the word comes, uh, it, it means little um, sachet of leather. You, you will realize why oh, once you see the shape. Mm, mm, once you see mm, the mm, shape. Mm, mm, mm. Which uh, we're gonna we gonna start now to make the shape. So, as I um, as you can see, guys. So, of course, uh, let's just uh, recap a little bit. Today we are in two. It's much easier. Uh, yes, yes. Two hands, wish, four hands. Yeah, I wish to have this every single day. Somebody helping me. Um, so, loves me. I <laughs> I normally will start uh, probably with the filling, guys. So. I will start to get the potato to boil, then to leave it to cool down, to remove the skin and then slowly prepare the filling as I showed you. Then you start to prepare the dough, you leave it to rest for a few minutes and then you can go and stretch the, I mean the tomato sauce because it's pretty easy, it's yes. something that you can do at the end. Yes, at the very end, just keep like those, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to prepare it so it like cooks slowly. I'm just gonna add this, a bit of like basil leaves to of that. Of course, like, of so course, that's, dramatic. that's you know, it's uh, it's very important a tomato sauce. And I'm gonna show you guys, so I, as I say, I have used the machine. I didn't use the machine up to, normally if you watch my video, you will always see that I put the machine up to number six on the settings. I can go too thin at this time because I need a really, because the shape I'm going to show you in a second, it's pretty, as you say, tricky. We don't need a very thin dough, otherwise it will break. So I stopped at number three today. Now, what I'm using, Maria, you know that sometimes 
we don't have all the tools in the kitchen. Yes, most of the times, in Italy as well. Exactly. And we need now to create uh, some um, round, round shape. shape. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I put some salt in the thing because we want it to be a little that, salt. That's very important. Actually, then we're going to taste it because, as I say, the salt, <laughs> you know, yeah, you that's know. the best part, actually. So I'm going to start to stamp the glass. It's just a normal glass. You can also go for smaller. It's going to be a pretty... Um, big color Jones and I will show you guys I simply going to print bravissima <laughs> uh, well it's going to it's going to be uh, separated I'm going to show you guys then if you have a proper cutter there are pasta cutter go for it how many are we doing uh, let's do at least a portion because I want to enjoy a full portion let's do at least six you know you're going to share with me yeah? oh okay uh, then if uh, I have I'm to share what it am with I you, <laughs> um, I want you to close one color, Jonas. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so fine. Let's separate the disc first. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave you this one, my love. Oh, this is oh, easy. Oh, thank you. Look. Fantastic. Thank you. And we can leave it on your board. As I say, these are never throw these away. Just keep it because it's a semola. Just roll it again as as long as enough soft for you to move it. Keep it aside. We don't want it to. We don't love. We don't like to waste anything. Remember to add pepper to your salsa. Oh, okay. You add the pepper. That's very important because yeah. Normally, for instance, I will not add pepper. I will add chili. But probably it's also because I'm very Pugliese and we love the chili flake as well. We had the fire inside. Uh, <laughs> now, Maria, then we have got all the disc. Um, now, as I say, we have cut it with, uh, with the glass, so it's not perfect. But remember, homemade pasta, handmade pasta will never be perfect. Actually, it will always be perfect because you have put in so much effort the patient, the love. Love. You know? <laughs> so make sure no one complain at the table. And if they complain, Maria, they can send it to us. Yeah, we're going to have a word. Yeah, we're going to have like a serious word. Exactly. Like Italian. <laughs> now, let's go back to the filling. Nice. I'm going to add uh, a, good, uh, uh, a good amount of filling, which I'm going to shape first with my Just hand. Like shaping it with the hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Robby, uh, yes. do you need to like, um, it's a very difficult shape. Do you need to make a couple to get into the movement? Bravissima, Maria. That's very important. With many shape, like very tricky shape, yes. You need to do a few to get it into. And you get that last bit of filling that goes off every exactly. time. And what I do, my love, it's just simply like closing this way. It's gorgeous, huh? Eh? It's gorgeous, yeah, really nice. And it has that, uh, this this type of uh, uh, dynamic here, um, which which remembers, you know, like the, the spikes of wheat. Uh, yes. So going back to the harvest again, Bravissima. like really nice. Yes, that's, uh, that's uh, yeah, it, uh, it also, I know Kulu Jonas because they remind the, the, the wheat the same exactly shape, which I would say, uh, it, it is uh, uh, an advanced shape of pasta. You need yeah. to be not expert, but you need to practice a lot. The first few color jones, they're going to be probably not the best, but keep carry on and doing more and more and you will get it into the, into yeah. the shape. Okay, so we um, just going to get another one and then we are ready to eat. We are ready to eat, guys. So I try one. Yes, let's try one. <laughs> we can't wait. The tomato sauce is done, yeah? I think so. The tomato sauce is done, so we have the time to do one shape. And then we bring the boil, uh, the water to boil. And then, Maria? Should I try the shape or not? You make everything. Ah, you no right. No time and space. Oh, I want to try one. Please, Maria, take another disc. Uh, you show me. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I want to try. I make you fatter one. <laughs> Yes, I want you to. to As I said, you know, they are very nutritious. So it's. They really, that, yeah. Uh, even if they are a bit ugly in your first try, don't, don't worry because they are going to be super delicious. 
Okay, okay. So, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in. Now, what you have to do with yes. your hand, yeah. a, good, a good amount of potato, and then you close it as is a taco. Yeah? Like, like a, a taco. taco. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, like. So exactly, like and hold the weed with with not on the palm of your hand because it's gonna be be more tricky. Ah, okay. Hold the with your fi bravissima. My fingers like that. Now the tricky part is the closing here. Do I need more filling? Probably yes, my love. Filling. And don't worry because as I showed you, in case it's too much, at the end we're just going to roll it and remove it, the excess of filling. Um, okay, so like this. Too much. <laughs> too much, too little. I don't know, let's see. Bravissima. Maria. Okay, oh, Bravo, eh. my love. Uh, be, be, be Brava. nice, be nice. Bravo. Yeah, yeah, fanta. Okay. Taco, bravissima. Maybe I'll stretch it a little. Yeah. Yeah. Stretch it just a little. It's not cheating if, if I'm coming forward with it. So. Okay. No, 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 it's perfect. So like this, and and what do I do? Now, the first thing, the most important, as I say, is to seal it here. So with your finger, you're just going to push it. Bravissima. Like now, okay. I want you to pinch and push it again. Bravissima. Trying to get these high, yeah? Pinch and push. Pinch and... Pinch. <laughs> She's it's gone. very difficult. <laughs> pinch. I don't know if I'm pinching enough. And I'm not push. Pinching. That's fine, guys. As I say, you need to do two, three, four to get it into that perfect shape. Even if I'm Sardinian, this is my first color, Jonas. Oh, really? Don't tell me. And it's um, it's not super uh, okay. aesthetically you... pleasing. Um, but you've done a great job, remember. No, 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 you put it here because so... we're going to... We're going to plate it, and as, as I told you, my love, look, if I hold it this way, it's going to be easier. Uh -huh. I push and then fold it, push and 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 fold it. Push. If you speed, I know, it's going to work much, much better, and you just... Well, if you are a sfoglina of uh, many years of experience, <laughs> and then you proper chef. These. I love it as well when they are very small. But of course, if you get smaller, it's getting also harder. Uh, but Robbie, hard. do, you, do you teach color jones in one of your uh, classes? Of course, uh, we're going to do soon a taste of Sardinia. You know yes. that I, I love to bring all the shape of pasta at uh, my pasta masterclass. So yes. Just have a look, uh, and uh, I'm sure that soon it's going to be a pasta masterclass about color Jones. Do I get a ticket to the class as well? Uh, like, uh, I give you a good discount, don't worry. <laughs> so now we are ready to get the hot water to boil and uh, ready to plate with this amazing tomato sauce. Stay with us. Let's do this. <laughs> so now that the pasta... Uh, so yeah, fine. <laughs> I get this wrong all the time. <laughs> so the water is ready. The water is ready. I'm going to add a little a little salt. Always remember the salt in your water. Fantastic. And uh, we go with our beautiful color Jonas. Bellissimi. Just one by one you want to do them mm -hmm. because it's such a um, big shape of pasta. Yeah. You, you don't want the water to like splash yeah. uh, everywhere. And for a portion we just serve six. Uh, as always, it is a pretty heavy meal already, so we we want to enjoy, but at the same time, we want to continue to eat as the proper Italian way. So it's a small portion for the pasta, and then, you know, so you can add more food on top, uh, maybe continue with the classic uh, Sardinian uh, recipes. How long are we going to leave it to cook, uh, Maria? I think these were about like not too big, not too small. So maybe like three, four minutes mm -hmm. is what you want to do. Once they come uh, up uh, to, to the surface, you know, they are, they are done. Fantastic. Okay, so let's uh, clean everything. Let's. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, Roberta wants to clean. I know this is your, you your desire, yeah. your desire in life. So let's, let's clean, guys, and then we can play to the color Jonas. Maria, 
we are ready, yeah? Yes, it's time to plate. They okay. came up quite nicely, so I'm just gonna put them at the center. Be careful not to get too much water. Yeah, and so they're so delicate that you prefer to just scoop out with with a spoon. Exactly, I think so. I think it's 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 better to do it this way, so uh, oh, they don't so they don't get destroyed. This is beautiful. This is like one of those shapes that uh, you don't need to mix the, the pasta shape uh, in the pan with the sauce. So yeah. something like very different from general way of, of cooking pasta. Um, That's true because we yeah. always mix then the pasta back into the pan with the sauce. Mm. And in this case, we just like put it on top at the end. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. So it keeps the flavors like very separated. Okay. Can I go with a little bit of pecorino? Please, please, yes. Just a little tiny little bit on top of the sauce, yeah? And then we finish with... I usually put a, a bit of mint on top, but oh, like, okay. you know, because we had the mint in the filling, mm -hmm. so I feel like the, the mint really gives it a nice um, uh, recall to what's inside as well, but it just really like for a bit of oh, decoration. Oh, bellissimo, bellissimo. Like we can try, we eat, I can't wait. Now. I can't wait. Now, I, I think I'm gonna be judging your filling as well. Uh, you, you judge my sauce. One bite. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna get a little bit of tomato sauce. <laughs> Wait, because last time, you know, I was so exactly. greedy <laughs> that I basically burned myself. How is it? Oh, be kind with the sauce. Uh, mm. I did my best. The sauce is amazing. You can literally taste the mint, the freshness from the mint and the orange. Really nice. Like... I did a fantastic job. Well done. <laughs> Maria, I got a quick fire question round for you. For me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Florence or Venice? Florence or Venice? I studied in Florence, so I feel like I need to say Florence. Okay. But I love Venice as well, it's really, really gorgeous. No, I ask you, Florence or Venice? Florence. Mm. Venice. Now, Dolce and Gabbana or Armani? I know you love uh, fashion. Uh, I think I think I'm more of an Armani person, uh -huh. but, um, but I really appreciate Dolce and Gabbana as well. You realize I'm also very diplomatic, so <laughs> quite I difficult realize, to get. Yeah, I realize, my dear. An and I go Costa Mountains. Um, Costa Coast. coast. Uh, I think I want to say coast because I I'm from Sardinia. I'm sea child would you say yeah so i, I love the That's sea why. i love the ocean so and the last one gelato or tiramisu <laughs> i know you love both Berta. i know actually i know you love both but you got something that you really i carry on eating you can talk yeah i mean i like gelato when i'm around you know it's really hot but i love tiramisu and uh, mm. I'm, I'm very fussy on tiramisu because I think I, because I have my own recipe and like, if it's, it needs to be right, done right, so. So uh, your recipe, tiramisu then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I appreciate others, but they need to follow the traditional way. I know you do a very good tiramisu. We did a, a few videos back, mm -hmm. guys, go and watch it because it's, it's fantastic. But you know yeah. what, next time you're gonna show us uh, no, this secret. I know, I carry on. Ragazzi, on. this is amazing. Remember guys, if you like the video, don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel for more pasta recipe. Bravi. Ciao, ciao. Buonissimo. Arrivederci.